Everybody, 73 degrees as you head out the door. Uh, yesterday we got up to 94, we'll be about 93 today, but over the weekend and uh, maybe not so much today, but by tomorrow we were expecting a lot of moisture to roll back in from the Gulf that was sort of missing there. And that is gonna give us uh, some opportunity for a few showers. The hot weather continues. We'll be in the mid nineties again today. Many inland areas, well, you know the drill, probably at or near 100 degrees. Uh, uh, back, uh, you know, like I mentioned last week, I'm going to bring it up again. Um, the um, pollution is going to build up in uh, Houston, San Antonio, and Dallas. Now, uh, as I mentioned, you know, I mean, look, there's 6 million people in Houston, and they're all driving cars. What do you think is going to happen to the atmosphere? Well, normally the sea breeze blows it all away and sort of disperses it. When the wind isn't strong enough and we have a very stagnant atmosphere, uh, well, it just sort of hangs in the air and with the sunlight, it cooks into pollution. And so Austin, San Antonio, Dallas and Houston are going to be dealing with that today. The, the reason I bring it up because every now and then that stuff spreads down here. And so we'll just have to watch it. But for the time being, uh, so far, so good for us. Here's the moisture where I was talking about today, a hot day, but there's this big surge of tropical moisture that's out in the Gulf. This got blown out, but it's going to be rolling back in. And for the next couple of days, I think we're going to look a little bit more traditional. You know, we usually get, you know, tropical showers around here during the afternoon hours and that sort of helps knock the temperature down a little bit. Right about now, the closest one is right about here off the coast of, oh, so near the land cut out there, but most of the activity is still about a day away. So uh, don't be surprised that if over the next two days, you'll see some of that moisture roll back up into our area. Also, there's a bit of a pattern change over North America. Over the last uh, two weeks, we had that incredible bubble of hot air on the West Coast and we had showers and fairly mild weather on the East Coast. Well, that's going to change because now the um, Bermuda High is going to take over. And I'll tell you what that means. Out here, we have a Hurricane um, Hector. Uh, Hector is generally, you know, moving out to sea, but right now it gets real close to uh, Hawaii in about five days. So we're going to have to sort of watch to see where Hector goes. But as I mentioned, uh, Hec uh, hurricanes, some of you were there. 1970. It was what 48 years ago that Celia blew into town and um, did quite a number on the city. Now that was more of a direct hit on Corpus Christi than was Harvey. Of course, Harvey came in later in August, but this was Celia, and it all came in on a Monday morning. And in you know, about 12 hours later, the, the city was sort of picking up the pieces. So today is the anniversary that we mark. You know, if it's either day on either side, but uh, the um, uh, anniversary of Celia here in Corpus Christi. This, believe it or not, is the Atlantic. It's extremely quiet, Saharan dust all over the place. But there's one trough that's just getting off the African coast and seems to want to get organized. Now, if it drops south and stays in, along the equator, it may develop, but it's, uh, shall we say, nothing moves in the Atlantic without us letting you know about it. Oh, also, it's important because here we go. Right here, September the 10th, okay, here, we're here in August. So you can see how it ramps up very dramatically over the next two weeks. The next four weeks really are the peak of the hurricane season. September 10th is usually the highest and then it drops off. So we are somewhere here, gonna ramp up. That's just a, a statistical average over when most of them occurred. But as I always say, it's just one storm in my house that's a, a big problem. Here's a pattern change I was talking about. The Bermuda High is normally in charge of the weather uh, for the su summer months. It is now coming back in, and that's why we're going to pick up all that moisture coming back in off the Gulf of Mexico, and that bubble of hot air over the West Coast, well, we can just go away. 93 today, 92 tomorrow, a little hot, but a few scattered showers as we get over the weekend, and then decreasing early next week. Your uh, seven-day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy, and we'll be right back.